I want to show you how to make a heat sink for those MPSA 06s. You're going to need them if you keep continuing to work with SEC. You see this little plastic transistor is half moon shaped. This is quarter inch copper tubing that you buy at your plumbing supply or home supply store. The outside diameter should come pretty close to a quarter inch. I can see this one's a little bit out of shape. Here's a piece of stock tubing I bought. It should be closer to the right shape. Yeah, there we go, 0.247. Okay, the inside diameter is not quite important because uh, unless you get thick wall or thin wall, you know, it all depends on how easily the transistor fits into it. The inside's about 0.187. What we want to do is you can either use a hacksaw or a copper pipe cutter. The copper pipe cutter is really nice because if you're going to cut more than one, you can mark that pipe and slip that cutter up and down to get it right on the spot and get some pretty exact sizes for you. Also it doesn't leave a lot of copper dust around after a hacksaw works. The inside of that piece that you cut off is going to have a berm. The transistor won't slip into it so you need to ream that out. Clean it up so you get the smooth fit with the transistor. You can use a hand reamer, one with the drill, or if you're hardcore, use an X-Acto knife or a pocket knife and clean that out. You want it so that plastic transistor slips in there nicely. Remember again that half moon shape. It's real important. We're going to take and take that pl that piece of copper and and squeeze it down. Look at how nicely that transistor fits in there. Now you need some type of heat conducting compound. I use Vaseline or petroleum jelly. If you have some silicon grease or some actual heat sink compound, it works fine. Take that Vaseline jelly, smooth a little bit around that plastic form of that transistor, slip it into your copper pipe, your copper tubing, your heat sink, take a pair of pliers and adjust it so the flat side of the transistor is flat with the plier jaw. When you squeeze it, you see it's going to squeeze down. Now please don't squeeze it too hard. You're going to bust your transistors. That copper is pretty soft and you can squeeze it down to make a nice, firm, heat conducting fit. Here's a sec board where I've got one quite large, probably about an inch, on this particular transistor. They're very effective, very cheap, a lot easier than ordering them from the store.